Hey guys, it's Christy, and this is Christy's Corner, where I'll do all things Disney, Harry Potter, makeup, fitness, uh, 5Ks, all sorts of different things. If you're new here, come join me for some really good fun of makeup tutorials and Disney, which is my main content. Um, however, I do do reviews from time to time that are within my genre of um, what I do. <laughs> So today's video is a review. I uh, received um, some communication from HA Marketing uh, and asking me to review some products for them. They let me pick one. Um, the, really the only one that I saw that kind of fit into my niche is a camping chair. As you guys know, I do do travel and I do do fitness. And camping kind of fits into both worlds depending if you're gonna hike or not and this video is a review of camping chair so I took it out of the box it came from Amazon so the company that sent it is Yifey I don't know if I pronounced it correctly it it's um, Y-I-F-E-I -E direct U-S it was shipped to me very quickly so it is shipping within the United States and like I said, this is a camping chair and it's not like any camping chair I've used before because when I buy camping chairs, I like to buy the big ones because we go to local um, campsites that are for tents and for um, campers. And I we camp in a tent, it's a very large tent because I'm weird and I bought a very large tent for four people. Um, but uh, because I buy these big chairs and they, I, they were so nice to send me this camping chair, I wanna say that this camping chair is a much, much smaller than toting around a huge camping chair. <laughs> so for the sake of this video, I am going to be referencing cross country. Uh, if you do not know, which you probably don't because I'm pretty much just a one person channel, my son actually runs cross country. He got into running cross country when I was doing 5Ks. He started doing them with me and the boy just like took off on his very first 5K and placed second overall, not just in his age group, overall. So once he did his first run, he never stopped. Now, if you know anything about cross country, like children's meets and stuff, they last almost like all day. 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. is about what they last. So when you're there, you obviously take a chair to sit in unless you just wanna sit on the ground. The thing is, is that sometimes you have a little ways to walk. You don't just park, get out of your car, and there you are. Sometimes you have a little ways to walk and carrying those big hefty camping chairs can get kind of frustrating. So for this review, I will be totally referencing the usage of a small compact camping chair, especially if you're going to be camping and you, like if you're gonna be hiking somewhere and camping and you're not just pulling into a spot and camping, setting up camp right there, this chair will be useful. Um, I haven't tried it out yet as of filming this video because it's been so rainy. But I am gonna show you the compactness of this. I'm gonna take it out, open it up, look at it, sit in it, mess around with it, fold it back up and see how well it goes back into this compact packaging. Because that is super, super small. So at the time of filming this video, I have not received a link yet to get, send you to go get this chair if you're interested, but I'm hoping to have that soon. So check down below for a link if you are, oh, oh something flying around. If you are interested in this particular chair. Um, I also will list the pricing here once I have that information because that also was not sent to me. Doing well today, doing well. So this is a, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm just gonna show you the tag. And um, it's a, it's called a Beautify Product Live a Better Life. 
But here's the tag right here. So this is what the chair's gonna look like. This is, I got the orange one. And I'm just gonna kinda go over the little directions here and then we're gonna put it together. So it will be easier to install into the hole by using a wrist strength, your wrist strength skillfully. The gesture on the right is not recommended. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, step three, check the installation location and make sure they are stable. Folding chair. Keep away from fire. Never allow to let infants on this chair alone. Limit loading weight to 230 pounds. Max shock test is 198 pounds. Okay, so because this is a more compact chair, anyone, uh, my, like they said, they don't recommend anyone over 230 and then their max shock test is 198 pounds. So I would probably suggest that if you are a bigger person, uh, and I don't mean like, what I mean by bigger is like tall and you weigh like 200 pounds, maybe not this chair. I think this chair is more for, I, I don't wanna say petite because I don't think it's petite necessarily. I don't know. I really, I like it. Um, I would just like, if you were 200 pounds, maybe not this chair. And there's nothing wrong with 200 pounds. I used to be more than that. So, a uh, folding chair, a fixed foot design, 900D thick Oxford cloth, mesh, breathable fabric, 7,075 aviation aluminum, 7,075. Um, aluminum alloy pipe joints and anti-slip plastic big foot cover. Cool. So again, it comes in this little packaging right here. It has handles on both sides. It um, also has like loops down through here in case you just like say you wanna attach it to your backpack with a care painter, like on the back back, you could right there. That That's actually, I already like this chair. And then here's your zipper. And it's got a carabiner. Okay, cool. So we're gonna figure this out. Here's the legs and whatever piece that is. And then a carabiner. And then the a chair itself piece right here. I've seen these camping before. So we're literally going to see if we can install it right here. It looks like this piece that's not, and it had this around it, it looks like this goes on the bottom of this little pole right here. I'm guessing. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm just guessing. I believe those for the legs. Maybe. All a guessing game. All a guessing game. But I will let you know if I find that this was easy to put together. Maybe that doesn't go there. We'll just take that back off. Cause I don't think it does. I think it's just extra. Cause it's already got its four pieces and those are the leg, the bottoms. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this right here and look back at the directions one more time to just kind of get an idea of what we're doing here. Okay, I totally follow this pretty, it seems pretty straightforward. So, it goes like this, and there's a little loop here where it goes at the bottom of this chair, this piece, and I just slid it on right there. I mean, it feels self-explanatory, this piece right here, Same over here. It is a little snugger when you go to the second piece. And I think that's just normal. I bet if I, ah, so if I take it out of the joint and then I feel like this is perfect for camping, really. And then slide it back in there and then slide it in the joint. 
Ah, yes. Okay, so that seems to be probably the best way to do it. So we're going to do the same process. So I'm separating this at this joint right here. I could probably do it at the bottom joint, but we're just gonna do it at this joint. And then slide it in there. And then okay, this one is a little bit more snug, but it still went. So the last piece is right here, and we're gonna undo this as well. And then slide it back into this joint right here. And this is probably gonna be the hardest piece just because it is like the last piece. Okay, so what I actually ended up doing was uh, making sure that the back was, the um, back piece was in. I guess I could show you. So I put these two pieces on first and then I went over to the bottom and put these on and those were the easiest way to do it. It wasn't difficult. If I can do it, you can do it. So now we're gonna take a look at the chair. So it is a very small chair, as you can see, but it's meshy so you won't get all sweaty. And then when you go to sit in it, it does feel pretty small, but if you're not gonna be in it for a real, real long time, I think you're good. So I'm sitting in the chair right now. Uh, I weigh about 160 pounds, I'm 5'4". I will say it feels very snug on my hips. So this is definitely a small chair. Right, so we do have the chair complete. I sat in it, it's super snug. I, I weigh about 160 pounds, I'm 5'4". Um, if it helps any, my pant size is about an eight. Um, so I've got a little belly, got more belly than I do arms and legs, I guess. I don't know, and yeah, my legs are actually really long. Um, it does fit snug, like I don't feel uncomfortable in it, but it's not something I would wanna sit in for long periods of time. It's definitely a good, like if you're gonna go hiking and you wanna sit in a chair, this would be a good option. Uh, for leisurely camping, if you're glamping, maybe not. But if you're backpacking and camping and you want to have a chair, I'd say this one's a good use. Um, I'm going to bring it back up here and kind of show it to you again. Up here, if you can see it, it's like a bucket seat. So you know how a bucket seat's fill in a car where they're kind of like, in case you, you like, you feel snug in it, that's how this feels. So it's like a bucket seat seat. I like that it has mesh in it, that way you don't get so sweaty, because a lot of times when you're camping, it's warm outside and you get sweaty. Um, it feels like it's a good quality, it really does. As long as you don't mind having to put the metal pieces together, I think you're good. And it's not a big deal, it, it wasn't hard, it didn't take long at all. Um, I definitely say it is for someone under 200 pounds because I think it would just be like, if you're very tall and 200 pounds, then it's probably gonna be too small for you. If you're more heavy set, it's probably gonna be too small for you because I felt like it was a little snug for me. So all in all, this item would be good for camping in my opinion, as long as you are okay with snugness in a chair, you are under 200 pounds, and you're not extremely tall. Criteria is there. Um, would, will I take this camping to sit in? No, however, I know that my husband will because he would prefer something smaller, more compact, more easy to walk, uh, hike around with. So he would take this, would I know. I'm more of a glamper when it comes to products like this. Uh, I do prefer nice, large camping chairs because I know I'm gonna be sitting in them a lot while camping.
because we like to sit by the fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and deassemble this and see how well it fits right back into its package. So I went ahead and I did this. So the way it looked to be wrapped up was kind of folded like that. So I'm gonna fold it that like that. And then I'm just gonna pull these pieces apart kind of like you do when you um, are breaking down a tent and see if this is easy to put back in its case. Because we all know that tents do not go back in their cases very well. So we wanna make sure that this goes back in its case. So it has a little string right here to wrap around and it fastens securely just like that. And then it was wrapped up in this just like you do a tent. So that's what I just did. Now let's see if it goes right back in here. And it looks like I'm gonna add the carabiner that came in it in here too, right back into the package. And then the extra little footy, it was extra. And then that's the carabiner, which is convenient to have if you need it. So, packaged nicely right back in the package okay so again review nice and compact fits right back in the packaging super easy pretty easy to set up you just need a little strength a little elbow grease for that last one to get in there drawbacks it's small um it's definitely not meant for really tall people or people really over 200 pounds because it says so on the tag anyway um will i use this camping not likely will my husband he would definitely so that's all i have for this video again if they send me the link to where you can purchase one yourself i'll list it down in the description down below thank you again ha marketing for reaching out to me to review this product i do think it's a good camping hiking um chair it's not one i would use to park at a um camper spot, but it, if I were to go hiking, I'd probably use it. And I like that it has these little spots right here to where you can hook them to pretty much anywhere on your bag and it's easy to transport. And again, two hooks. This is just super convenient. Um, so that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about it and thanks again for reaching out and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye now.